Hey guys, I'm Norm from Tested, and I'm here at the Modernist Cuisine kitchen, lab, studio, work environment, factory. It's crazy. I'm here with Scott Heimendinger. Thank you so much for inviting us here. Our pleasure. And I'm so excited. I want to talk about the book that you guys released last year. Great. It's an incredible five volume book. I'm holding one in my hand. It's massive and obviously lots of data, knowledge, recipes, but interesting photos as well. Yeah, you know, photography is a really important part of this book, not only because it's beautiful, but because we can use photos to help teach people the processes that are going on while their food is cooking. Mm -hmm. uh, so we adopted this technique called the cutaway photo, where we literally cut cookware in half so that we could illustrate what's taking place inside the food as it cooks. And you flip inside you, you, and you signpost everything. So you talk about you know, not only the, the equipment that you're using, but also what it looks like in the middle of a, a turkey right here. Yes, and it turns out that these processes are amazingly complex, even for simple cooking methods. Things like roasting or steaming or boiling, which you think are straightforward, there's actually a lot of different forces at play. And we can use this technique to illustrate some of that. So for the cutaway, you know, it could have been done with CG. It mm -hmm. could have been done, I mean, we have the technology now, but you guys chose to use photography, and that's an incredible challenge. How, how, it's a new, completely new. How did you guys do it? Well, um, people ask all the time, hey, did you use Photoshop for these photos? Yeah. And the answer is yes, we used Photoshop, but we also used a machine shop where we literally cut equipment in half and cut food in half. Um, it's, uh, you get the most accurate representation of what's actually happening that way. So I've got a couple examples of oh, yeah, pieces yeah. that we let's, cut let's in half. Okay, cool. This is our cut in half microwave oven. Um, and we use this to illustrate how a microwave actually works. This right here is the magnetron. This is the part that generates microwaves. Mm -hmm. And then you can see how they kind of bounce around and end up in the, uh, inside the microwave itself. Um, there's actually a trick in the book. You can calculate the speed of light using your microwave and craft singles, uh, which is super, super cool. And we explain how uh, the microwave technology works using this as sort of a backdrop right, for that. Right, the form of the microwave, the way the microwaves flow in exactly. that, that, that definitely affects how the food is cooked in a microwave. And it helps you, once you see sort of how big the, the microwaves themselves are, mm -hmm. it helps you understand why counterintuitively larger foods cook faster than smaller foods. If you've got something that's cut up into pieces too small, right. they actually don't cook in the microwave because they're shorter than the wavelength. Now this is something, you know, if I had a machine shop, I could, you could make a prop of. Right? Yes. You could, but you guys took a real microwave and actually just cut it right in the middle. Things that were never meant to be cut in half, no. you guys cut in half. No, and it turns out it doesn't work nearly as well after you cut it in half. Uh, yeah, Does, it barely stands up. Yes. Now we have some other cutaways that we made for our new book, mm -hmm. Modernist Cuisine at Home, which is coming out this October. Um, here is a blender. This is just a, a regular yep. household blender. Um, but this way you can actually see what's going on inside the blender. You can see the magnets and the motor and, and how everything connects together. Um, and we use it to talk about the process of blending, what blending is good for, what it's not good mm. for. So we actually do put uh, food into these cutaways. Yeah. Oftentimes, if we've got something that's going to hold liquid food, or you know, in the case of the microwave, everything's dry, so it can just sit mm -hmm. here. Um, for something like the blender, what we'll do is take half the blender, yep. glue a piece of glass to it, or Pyrex on or it, or Pyrex mm -hmm. uh, exactly. Fill it with the food and photograph that side. Now, of course, we'll have the seam where the glass is glued on, yeah. but we have another half that of we course. can photograph separately, sense. and then we swap the edges from one half to the other uh, in Photoshop. A little bit of compositing, but it's still a meticulous process. For yes. example, if you have a grill. Right? Yes. And so our iconic Weber cutaway shot, yeah. um, where you've got the glowing coals and the fat dripping off mm -hmm. the hamburgers, that was a composite of dozens of images to get the perfect glow from each of the coals, to get the perfect fat drippings, the perfect flare up, the perfect smoke. Right. Um, so sometimes it takes a lot of images to show all of the things in one exposure. It's a little bit of cheating, but it's illustrative. Yes. Yeah, it shows exactly, you want to show the coal how hot it is and, and what is that thing to that fat when it's tripping down. Absolutely. Very cool. What else did you guys uh, cut for the new book? We also cut a pressure cooker. So here is uh, this is a small size mm -hmm. uh, pressure cooker that we cut in half to illustrate how pressure cookers work. So 
In this pressure cooker, for example, you can see there's this gasket ring, and that's what forms the tight seal to, uh, to keep all of the steam and air inside. Mm -hmm. And then here is the spring-loaded pressure valve, and this is what regulates the pressure inside the pressure cooker. And then here is a locking valve, which mm -hmm. prevents you from depressurizing the pressure cooker when it's still uh, full of hot steam. We right. think that if you understand how it works from looking at the inside, one, you won't be so afraid of using the pressure cooker. A yeah. lot of people have exactly. sort of a- It's not gonna blow up in your face. Exactly, because you, yeah. you understand how, but it also helps us explain what pressure cookers are good for and why you would want to use mm -hmm. a pressure cooker for certain cooking techniques. Okay, so most of the stuff I can imagine you putting you know, underneath a high-powered saw or a cutter in a workshop, but you also have bigger things that you guys have cut. This is a fake set. This is, this is the, the photo studio, the fake kitchen within the, the real kitchen. This here, the stove, you guys also sliced yes. right here. Yes, this is a Viking range uh, that we cut a third of off so that you could see not only how the stovetop works, but also how the oven works. And we use this to, sh to illustrate the roasting process. Completely inoperational. No uh, way you could turn this on. I, I hope you don't try to turn this on. <laughs> the, the gas would probably explode pretty fast. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this was a sacrifice, but we think a necessary one. Oh, well, hopefully the manufacturers of this equipment, they don't know what you're doing or they can live with what you guys are doing. Well, our, our general rule is if two of something show up on our doorstep, we're happy to cut one in half. Awesome, very cool. And with the new book coming out in October, you guys are uh, using this studio, so it's less food floating in space and it's more showing food in the home. And... Yes, exactly. So we, we built our uh, sort of fake home kitchen mm -hmm. so that we could give context to the photos that are in the new book and, uh, and make it all feel a little more approachable. Very cool, can't wait for that. Thank you so much, Scott, and amazing photography in Modernist Cuisine. Uh, the original book is out now, you can yes. buy that. Uh, and yep, available other... everywhere best books are sold. Oh, awesome. And the new book will be available in the same place. Uh, you can pre-order online right now, um, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and your favorite place to buy cookbooks. Great, thank you so much. Um, uh, Norm from Tested, uh, we'll have more from Modernist Cuisines, labs, offices, kitchens, fake kitchen studios uh, on Tested.com. See you guys.